Hello everyone, welcome to AI Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about aggregate functions. It is also a mathematical functions. In order to avoid a very lengthy video, I am just separating the topics. Aggregate function. So it is a function where the values of multiple rows are grouped together to form a single summary value. So you are going to apply a function to an array and the final output going to be a single value. First one is minimum that is min. So you have a big array in that you want to find what is the minimum number then we can use the min. We have an array the x contains four value 1 3 2 8. Now we want to find the minimum value in this array. So min pass the array x. The output is 1. So the minimum value is 1. Same way if you want to find the maximum of this value. Same example print maximum of x. You know very well the output going to be 8. Then ERG mean argument mean this returns the indices of the minimum element of an array in a particular axis. Let me create an array using random function. So array equal to np dot random dot rand integer the range is 16 size equal to 4 cross 4 print and show you. So we have created 4 cross 4 matrix till the range 16. You can see here it's going to be random. When I execute next time this value will keep on change. That's the advantage of using random functionality. In this I am going to implement the argument minimum. Now we are going to learn one important concept axis equal to 0 means it's a y axis then axis equal to 1 means it's a x axis so y axis you know 11 5 13 7 this is going to be a y axis 3 5 4 7 so you want to find the minimum value in y axis means you have to mention axis equal to 0 if you want to find minimum value in x axis that is nothing but row wise so y axis means it's a column wise x axis means it's a row wise so let us find the indices it means it will tell the exact index of the particular number so indices of minimum element in y axis np dot argument min inside this pass the array then mention the axis axis equal to 0 so when we run this you can see just consider in the column wise in the first column minimum value is 1 so index value of 10 is 0 then 2 is 1 1 is 2 that's why we got 2 when you consider second column 0 is the minimum value so index is 0 in the third column it's going to be number one minimum value so 0 1 2 3 in the fourth column 6 is the minimum value that's why we got indices as 0 same way let us find the minimum element in x axis that is in row wise so np dot rg min then the array comma axis equal to 1 just run it now see the difference it is trying to find the index of minimum value in the row wise so when you consider first one 0 its index is 0 second row 3 so it indexes 1 third row it's going to be number 2 its index is 3 because the count starts from 0 and fourth one also number 3 the index is 3 so argument min is used to find the indices and if you want to perform any operation in column wise means you have to mention axis is equal to 0 and row wise means axis equal to 1. 
so don't get confused between these two number first y axis then only x axis same example so instead of arg min i mentioned arg max it's easy to guess now this arg max will return the index of the maximum element of the array in a particular axis so axis equal to 0 means it's a y axis axis equal to 1 means it's an x axis let's me execute so when you consider column wise that is axis equal to 0 in the first column 10 going to be the biggest number so the index is 3 in the second column it is 14 the index is 1 in the third column it is 12 the index is 1 then in the fourth column it is 8 the index is 2 same way when axis equal to 1 that is row wise here the number 13 is the maximum number the index is 1 then 14 index 1 9 index 2 and 10 index 0 the next function to find the sum of array elements of a given array for example we have created an array for range 5 now we have to calculate what its sum that is 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 so this is a very simple example just consider real time scenario thousands of value you want to find the sum so writing a for loop and uh, giving the index is not a best solution so we, we have a ready made method sum we can implement that so sum of the array then sum just mention a run it the value is 10 good part is no need to mention np directly you can use sum pass the array for example if you want to calculate sum based on the axis then you can use sum axis we are creating array till the range 20 4 cross 4 calculate the sum of array in y axis y axis means axis equal to 0 so np dot sum inside this pass the array comma axis equal to 0 if we run that in the column wise it will add 1 plus 2 plus 17 plus 17 it is 37 same way for each column it will calculate and display the sum same way when axis is equal to 1 it means it's a x axis if you execute it will find the sum of the number in row wise 14 plus 11 plus 4 plus 16 it is 45 same way it will try to find for each row and display accordingly uh, this is how we'll use the sum with the axis parameter that's the end of this video thanks for watching happy learning